Yeah, so just introduce yourself and let me know what we got going on All here. All right, so my name is Stephanie Turner. I'm the Autism Division Director at the South Carolina Department of Disabilities and Special Needs. Today we are at the Assistive Technology Expo really spreading the word about what we have here at DDSN. <laughs> so first and foremost, if anybody with intellectual disability, a related disability, autism spectrum disorder, or head and spinal cord injury is out there, I would hope that they're also in with our agency. This is the best way to try to figure out if they are in with our agency, we'll put them on three, up to three different waiver wait lists, and that has over 26 services that they wouldn't otherwise get if they just had Medicaid. And then we have an upcoming Autism Connect conference in Columbia on April 23rd. We would love to have people come. I That's love it. the free promo code if anybody would want to come and just learn about the resources and supports we have in our community. Marvelous! So this sounds like a wealth of information and resource. We got a bunch. We would love to tell the people what we have. Get it out there. So give me an example of, say for instance, once I get signed up, if I'm, a, if you all are able to recognize that I do qualify for your services, what types of things would you all be able to help me with? So the interesting thing about autism is it's a spectrum disorder. So mm -hmm. I think about autism because I'm the autism division director. Yes, so somebody with autism would qualify for our IDRD waiver, the intellectual disability and related disability waiver. One of the things that people ask me all the time is if somebody elopes, which means they you know, see an open space and they run for it, mm -hmm. they would benefit from having a fence. Expenses are expensive. DDSN can help pay for that under our environmental modifications. That's really? An yeah. Um, the other example is mom, dad, grandma, whoever is caretaking for them needs a break, right? And so we pay for respite services as well. Wow. Family support funds because special needs summer camps are expensive. Um, we have some durable medical equipment. Some, I love it. I mean, really adult attended care, adult day health care, just it runs the gamut. So it's really just overall know. supportive services. We try. We That's try. all right. Yeah. So it sounds like you all are really able to kind of fill in the gaps and of education and resources where people may not have been aware of what it is that they need or even how to get it. Right, right. And we're primarily the funder. We'll help you can connect you with those resources in the community and okay. help pay for them. So we're kind of like Medicaid because we're a state agency. Yes, ma'am. But we're kind of like a hub for that too. Okay, good stuff. Yeah. Well, I certainly appreciate it. And I'm going to take Audrey. some of this information. Thank you very much.